In this video, we'll see how to create an amortization table for a loan amount that we have to repay. So we have some basic information about a loan that needs to be repaid about uh, $27,150 over a five year period on a monthly basis. So we're paying 12 payments per year and uh, we're having a payment amount of $500 and an interest rate of 4%. So given this scenario, uh, what would be the monthly interest component and the principal component of our payments. So we'll calculate this. So our opening balance that we need to repay is the loan amount right here, E4. Okay, next we'll calculate the monthly payment. The monthly payment is this amount right here of $500. I'm just going to put a dollar sign before the five here because I am planning to copy this cell uh, formula to the cells down further. And when I do that, I don't, I don't want this 500, that is B5, to change to B6 and B7 and so on. So I want it to remain as B5. So I put a dollar sign before the 5 and I press tab. The interest component is the opening balance times the interest rate of this amount here, E2. Note that this here is a monthly interest rate, which is calculated as annual interest rate, which is what you usually get quoted in any by any bank, divided by the number of payments, which is 12. So that's a uh, 0.33%. And the interest rate times the opening balance is the interest component. And uh, again, I put a dollar sign before the E2 because I wish this particular cell E2 to remain as E2 as I copy this further down. The principal component is going to be the difference between the monthly payment and the interest component, which is $409. So what happened here is during the first period at the start, you had a balance of $27,150 that you had to repay and you're paying $500 towards this repayment. The bank will apply part of this amount towards the interest due, which is $90.50, which is the opening balance times the monthly interest rate. And having applied this, the remaining money will be applied towards the principal payment. So the principal that you have to repay in the next month or the opening balance in the next month is the difference between this and this and uh, that is $26,740. The monthly payment is still $500. So you can type B$5 here or you can just copy this down here like this. The interest component will be B9 times E2. Okay, so B9 times E2. So you could just copy this down here and likewise the principal component is C9 minus D9. So you could copy this. So what I will do is just select both of them and copy them down like this. The next cell onwards is just a copy of this, the previous cell in terms of the formula. So what I can do is select the cells B9 through E9 and then just drag this all the way down, drag the fill handle down. You can do that. Or a faster way to do that is to just double click this fill handle and it will then copy your formula all the way down to the 60th month. Please note that if you look at the 60th month payment, the opening balance is $498.34 and the principal that you're repaying is $498.34 so that the remaining balance is zero. Okay, so this is this minus this is zero. So that just shows that the loan is completely repaid at the end of the 60 months. Now what you can do is calculate totals. You can calculate the total interest paid. You can click here and click the sum button. Click the sum button again and there it is. So what I just did was compute the totals for the monthly payment, the interest component and the principal component. 